I wanted to kick her out, but I didn't. No, you didn't. Shut up. You're a nice person. I'm Roxanne. I'm Wyatt. I'm Frankie One. Francisco. Frankie Two. And we've been together for about a year and a half. Uh, we've been together for about nine months. Today, we are talking about the dumbest fight we've ever had. There was one time when we went on our first date, and because of Roxanne, I crashed my car. Oh. It didn't oh, yeah. really turn into an argument, but I'm pretty sure it was her fault for not telling me that there was a car on my side. I feel and... like we're gonna start an argument talking about this, but yeah, I remember on our first date, it was going really well, it was really cute. He like took me to San Francisco for dinner and like we were trying to park our car to my go car? to dinner. Okay, his car. I was so. parking my car and I was trying to parallel park, so I was backing in like this and then she was looking back like this and then she doesn't say nothing. <laughs> nothing comes out of her mouth and the next thing I know it goes boom. I hit the whole front end of a car. And then she was just like, oh my God, there's a car there. Okay, no one told me I was supposed to, you know, be on the lookout. I thought you were like a skilled parallel parker. I was probably mm. thinking about how good the date was going. Mm -hmm. He took it pretty well. I mean, his car, like it did end up getting like super scratched and he didn't blame me for it. Yeah, I didn't blame her. But like we did have like a bit of back and forth. I think it was more back and forth after we were together. Yeah, like we keep revisiting I it. I still wanted to go on a date with her, but I didn't want to be like, you made me crash my car. Yeah, get like my, we Get out my whip. Yeah, we didn't get mad like during the date. Like he wasn't like, get out. <laughs> but afterwards, like he was after definitely salty. After the fact that it's been something that I've been salty about for a long time. You should have been looking. You should have called it out. <laughs> I think I will forever, I will take it to the grave. I will forever be salty okay, that no. I had to pay my insurance $500 to How fix. is it my fault? Because you didn't say it, anything. Was I supposed to? It was the first You're supposed to just say, look, there's a car backing right there. <laughs> I guess I'm like, just like the designated lookout. Like. I'm still gonna be salty. Okay, I have one that's different than his story, <laughs> but it involves food and hangriness. And I think you know what I'm talking about. This happened like a couple days ago, actually. I had just gotten off work and this dude was like, I'm hungry, I wanna go get food. So he wanted to get Subway because we've been planning to get Subway for like ever. And so he got to the Subway and the Subway was closed. So I was like, okay, we'll get something else. We had to wake up the next day for Pride like really early in the morning. And so I was like, well, we can't really go anywhere. So then I got home and then he got home and he was just mad. I was like, what's wrong? He's like, Subway was closed. I wanna eat something. I was like, well, we can't go nowhere. And he's like, well, we can call a car. And I was like, I think I misunderstood him. And I was like, well, I can't call a car right now. We were proceeding to get ready and take a shower. And so I was like not talking to him kind of because he was mad. <laughs> and so the shower was running, but I was looking up places to eat. And I was like, you want to go to Taco Bell? And he's like, you just ignore me. You're not even <laughs> listening. And the shower was still running. I was sitting on the toilet and I was not on the toilet, but I was sitting on the toilet. He was like, the shower is on. And I was like, I know the water's running. I turned it on. I'll pay that water bill. And that was that <laughs> fun. Yeah, I was hungry and I wanted to be like, Born baby, and I want him to be like, yes, let's go get food right now. Instead it was like, no, we shouldn't go. This place is closed or no, it's far. I mean, <laughs> he can be babied sometimes, but you're a grown ass man. Yeah. I'll just baby you later. <laughs> okay, I know a crazy story. This is a, on her part, it was crazy. But one time we got in a fight. I wake up at 4 a.m. to a knock on my door and I'm like, what is that? It was and it was her. She flew all the way down. <laughs> I was in LA and he was in Sacramento and I literally took a flight and surprised him to like fix it before he was going to Europe. Wow, this is probably like the most head ass like extra thing I've ever done. But yeah, we like got in like a kind of small argument. It was argument. kind of a small argument. I think it was a few days before my finals too and I literally just like booked a last minute flight the night before and emptied out my bank account because it was really expensive. Yeah. It was crazy. That was like three months into our relationship. Yeah, it was. It was really, really I forgot too. about that. It was wow. insane. It was literally insane. I think we fixed things like, yeah, immediately because he knew I made the effort and it was cute. Yeah, it was cute. It was really cute. It was cute. really extra. This happened at Long Beach Pride. So he had bought this like, ugh, okay. <laughs> he had bought this t-shirt that's like... It's like a mesh kind of top. It was a moment. I found it at a thrift store. Like I thought it would be cool. A fishnet t-shirt. Like if yeah. you got fish from the ocean and you were netting <laughs> them. It was like a crop top. Moment. Crop top. <laughs> yes. He had brought it home. He's like, look, I bought this. And I was like, ugly. And then he got really upset. He's like, why would you just shoot on? my things like that, like I really liked it. And I was like, no, this is ugly. Come Long Beach Pride Weekend, he brought out the shirt and asked all his friends and they were all like, it's ugly. And I was like, amen, why are you mad? I felt some type of way about it. I thought it was cool. It's cool, but it's still ugly. <laughs> And you was mad that whole evening. I will not forget, you were like not talking to me. I was like, it's just an ugly shirt. And you were like, what if I said you wear is ugly? You're like, not everything you wear I like. And I was like, you don't gotta like it. You don't have the same opinion I do. <laughs> that was, that a, was silly a silly fight. Silly fight. We've had some like really extra moments or like meme worthy yeah, moments. Yeah, we've had meme worthy moments, but not a lot of arguments. So <laughs> that's good. I guess that's advice good. to people out there, don't argue with your girl. She'll win. Yeah. She'll win. I love him. So it's never really like, it's never that serious. Mm -hmm. It's my best friend. So we have, 
You make me cry on video right now. 